Hello, hello, and welcome to Ham Dungeon. I'm Rania Kuma. Um, yeah, that's uh, the desk were so very nice on some Miyaki, so let's try this out, shall we? Name Void, which, uh, yes, we're from the Void Dimension. This guy is locked, okay. Keeper of the Void Dimension, bringer of darkness. He is the incarnation of the dimension in itself. So his powers are immense and mysterious. Oh my. Okay. Let's see what this is all about. Nothing but chains. A tiny bit. Strange, isn't it? From childhood. We have been told that the universe is endless. It was said that there are millions of worlds out there, and that none of them can be reached. They said that they were thousands of light years away from us. But what if this is not the whole truth? What if we live in a multiverse where a thin membrane separates worlds from each other and this membrane is not as strong as it seems seven worlds seven variations of earth were instantly merged those few who survived called um the shift okay that was a weird little lag I should probably make sure that I don't have too much running in the background. But that will Q dimension, huh? Hold A to be born. That's some kind of willpower. Space is dark and silent. A voice resounds in your head, breaking this silence. Each word like a supersonic cannon shot. I made you. I created you. Okay. Who am me? You are nothingness, just like me. They call us the void. You and I are one, but you have a purpose. You can leave this place and meet with them, the envoys from other dimensions in the center of creation. How did you create them? I made you from parts, from anything that reaches me from their worlds. Follow the thread, it would, will bring you to the root of creation, to the city of all dimensions, the city of Arkham. Collect the seals of the six heralds and bring them back here. They have many realms, we have essence. They want our essence because we have so much. Let them give us their realms so we can have many realms as well. Go and collect the seals of six dimensions. The voice of two dimensions trails off. You can still feel its presence. I want to ask you a question. Before that, you have to ask yourself. Who are you? Mm. I am creation. That will arrest, huh? You have their mind, but you and I are one. I made you similar to them, so you don't know everything that I know. 
I will tell you with the words. What is essence? The essence of creation, the fuel and the fabric, the mother and the energy. It can become anything or turn into nothing. Dissolve and go beyond the bounds of being and observation. At the borders of our dimension, all things become ash. Ash becomes essence. Essence becomes nothingness. But the words of reason can give it new forms. That is how they create their world. And that is how I made your vessel. Why don't we have any realms? We will have realms after your return. We will have many realms. We can only absorb realms. We cannot create them. But they can. Each dimension possesses something. And we eat the crumbs from their table. We have nothing. Nothing but time and essence. Why do we need the six years? They bound their realms to the root of creation. They sealed their realms off from other dimensions. They call all other dimensions mirrors, false dimensions. All essence that is not ours belongs to them, but they want more. They want to create more realms that will give birth to more living beings so new sentience can receive vessels in third dimensions and go on to create more realms. In the dimensions of the six gods as they call themselves, the six heralds hold their seals, seals that open the path to the realms of the six dimensions. Once we get those seals, we will be able to touch their realms. I want to touch them to be more than an observer, to participate, to not just exist, but live. You already have this gift, so go forward and use it. Collect the seals and bring them to me. Free us. Okay. Well, the buttons don't seem to do anything yet. Hello. Can I do something with your... I guess I can. Communicator. Press down on the D-pad to open the communicator. This is an incredibly important device that lets you communicate across dimensions. You'll get messages containing information about the world around you and requests from beings you meet in your travels. Cool. New owner detected. Error, error. Access granted. Data recovery in progress. Restore telepathic contents. Yes. Error. No access to info ocean. Recovering Morse recent story. Clear. I really don't think this is a good idea. Think about it. You should say no. I admit it. You're jealous. You are not worthy. You will regret. You will regret that you said that. We'll talk once I return in my new form. Let's not put it off any longer, and behind your back. Turn around and face your bed. End of record. And I guess that's just the... Uh, yeah, that's just the tutorial again. X to attack. B to dash. a shield that protects you from any single source of damage worse. Hold right bumper to create a mine in front of you. After some time the mine will explode. If it takes damage you will get on it somewhere. Okay. You can combine both abilities of key reefs. After you protect yourself with the shield you can drop a mine and 
tanta actividad y te disfrutan hasta de cuando en mi sarna. Hairs can be used to enhance skills of their items. Depending on the type of item, press the button corresponding to it. After the indicator appears on fields of, of the character release. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so I guess I have a shield and I can open it. It says press left to upgrade, but it doesn't let me just yet. Inventory, map, journal. Oh well, let's go, I guess. Ooh. It's not communicates or just like. Floating alongside me or something. Oh my. I became the guardian of this house, and I'm obligated to help you. The fate of the universe hangs in the balance. I apologize. What are my manners? You probably want to have a look around and get acclimated first. Uh, outside. I have waited a very long time for this meeting, and I can wait a while longer. Come find me when you are ready to discuss business. All right. Hmm. What is this place? The dimension up here, like the one I used to get here. But this one is a lot bigger. This creature's flesh blends with the stones around the pier. It seems alive but unconscious. Yeah. The device resembles a locked door. Device in the center of this table shows the current state of the planes of reality. No very good state this looks like. Did you get a good look around? Yes, um, what the fuck happened? Our cabin once stood on this very spot, well more precisely, the cosmically massive core of creation stood on this spot, and the six districts of our cabin surrounded it. When you were on your way to the Council of Heralds, there were few who knew of this, but it seems one of them did not want you to make it here, there. There was a coup in our cabin, and someone used Marduk's personal weapon. I am not hinting, hinting at anything. Marduk's personal weapon. That's an interesting name. To sever your thread from the core of creation, plunging the void dimension into the abyss, and spilling its essence into the center of creation, directly into our cabin. That's not good. Well, it just so happened that your core is here, and the core of creation fell into the abyss along with your dimension. And our cabin fell too, of course, and everything is, everything is sliding into the abyss through this hot thermal creator, slowly, gradually, like through the eye of a needle. What happened to the other worlds and dimensions? The core of creation is falling into the abyss, and dragging every layer of the universe along with it. We can't stop it. The core has already passed the event horizon, but we can temporarily raise it from the abyss and gather mass from a few divine cores. This should be enough for us to create a new reality. What do you mean? You, me, the Keeper. Those few immortals who have not yet fallen into the abyss along with the core of creation. 
No one knows how much time we have left. Go to the central pier. The keeper has everything ready. The pier will take you to the Q dimension. Well, what is left of it after this time in the abyss? It is a world of arid deserts, hot during the day and cold at night. Do not expect a warm welcome from the inhabitants. They know about as much about heroes as they do about water force. What do I need to do in the Q dimension? You must activate all seven gravitational piers in the Q dimension which will transfer some as the hub and unlock a pathway to the Divine Palace. Then you will just have to convince the Dimensions God to decreed all his mass to the hub God. That is all. Vidicus makes a strange motion and laughs. What do you know about the Q Dimensions God? One of the two original gods. The one that now calls himself Motor. He used to go by a different name. I heard legends from the ancient... Essence that long, long ago, he was the god of thunder or lightning, until he met Xatra, who taught him how to play Agon. That is all I currently know about him. Okay, fair enough. And yeah, this is... This hub is rather... Oh, now I can level up? Not like that tells me... your core from the abyss. It seems she is speaking in a dream. Pidicus, that lazy blade blabbermouth didn't explain it to you. This is not a cavern, Herald. Refresh your memory and your skills. You will need to be prepared for battle. The keeper points you out to a door leading to another dimension. Ah, uh, alright. Training Ari. Okay. basically just born, I guess I should learn how to fight. If I were you, I wouldn't listen to what the keeper thinks of me. She sleeps all the time, but still calls me lazy, what nonsense. The eyeball levitates up and down furiously. It's just that there's so much going on and I occasionally forget important things. Right, let's get down to business. As you've already figured out, this is a training room. I currently have a combat simulation running in it. It goes floats closer to you. Between you and me, there are no other simulations. I haven't created them yet. You will be using this combat simulation to see what you can do. Got it. If you don't mind, I'll be recording your training. It could prove useful for when we train future heralds. It goes quince. Well, even if you do mind, I'm still going to record it. That's my you better. I had to ask for appearances sake. Alright, let's start training. Okay then. Pick up knocks. Using consumables to heal yourself. First press Y, then press X to break the healing item. Whoever attacks the item first gains the effect, whether that be you or your enemy. Oh. I see. Do I have a limit for them? I guess I don't. Mechanical clone. Mechanical Claws can perform a combo. Press X three times in quick succession to execute it. The last attack in the combo will deal the most damage, but be careful, the combo drains a lot of stamina. Hold X to charge Mechanical Claws and unleash a powerful slam attack that deals damage to all enemies around you. The Mechanical Claws can 
Mechanical Close Amplified Attack applies a crit mark to all enemies around the attack area. In a bigger radius, your next media attack on marked enemies is guaranteed to crit. Ooh. Every item has a certain level of durability. When an item breaks, the game enters a tactical pause state where you can swap out your broken item if you have a replacement. Press X, V or right bumper to swap out the corresponding item. Right. Pick up sour fun. Enhancer items. To use an enhancer, press Y and X. Right and X. Okay. More than enemies. If you hit an enemy and see a blue shield, that means that more than forty percent of your attack was absorbed by enemy armor. It's better to use unpowered attacks against armor, armor than enemies, since these attacks can pierce through armor and deal substantial damage. Enemy attack move. Enemy attack damage is increased by 100% after an attack that successfully hits you. This is indicated by stars over their head. Stars are lost over time and turn into shields that block a single hit. There are items that can remove these buffs. Decreation. Target scaled by decreation have the highest drop values of essence, runes, nodes, and consumables. This type of death blocks the possibility of autopsy. Target scaled by laceration have an increased chance of organ drops, but standard values for essences, runes, nodes, and consumables. This type of death blocks the possibility of autopsy. Mortification. Targets killed by mortification have standard drop values for essences, runes, runes, and consumables. This type of death allows you to perform an autopsy. Targets killed by incineration have higher than average drop values for essence, runes, and nodes. This type of death blocks the drop of consumables and the possibility of autopsy. Explosion. Targets killed by explosion have an average chance of organ and essence drop, but low values for, of, for runes, nodes, and consumables. So I don't want to kill them with explosion, got it. Oh, that's why I can't move. Well, I would say we can call our first joint project a success. By the way, what do you think of him, Harold? Ooh. The red robe, Mamad, of course. It's the pinnacle of my creativity. He painstakingly recreated every single detail so he would closely resemble the most common of the Q dimension inhabitants you would encounter. Once I improve his voice module, the locals won't be able to tell he's not one of their own. I don't really have anything to compare it to. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Actually, we enter the place on the thing, right? Here, you can 
use dimensional peers to fast travel around the world. Once a peer is activated, you can teleport to it at any time. Make sense? Alpha peer. Yes, that's where I'm going. Yep, you dimension. Before the shift, the Lutonland dimension comprised a myriad of super jungle workers. The wars of Lutonlanders found new living species and supplied many other inhabitant worlds with plant and animal foster. Okay then. Oh, that's an enemy. communication network and looked for unencrypted activity in this area of the dimension. I seem to have located the chief of some local hunters. We should visit him. He might prove useful. The keeper took you to the first pier, but it cost her a lot of strength. You need to find this pure score and connect it to the hub. The core should be somewhere in the desert nearby. Look around or talk to the locals. Just our transfers me to the and I start moving like that. Okay. Sounds simple enough. Something tells me I can't go to the middle over there. Strong experienced warrior seems to be caught off guard when you appear. Oh, mother of my voice, I can't tell if you're real or not. What are you? I'm real. Hang on, you're a herald, aren't you? Immortal messenger of the gods? I need your help, please. Whatever god you serve, help me, and I will help you with anything you need. You notice this thing has a very tangible core. Only a relatively ancient entity could have one like that. I listen to you. Recently, the animals we hunt have become more aggressive. We spotted red vine garoons who are more heavily armored than normal. I can spit acid. Some of the red ones are even gigantic. I've never seen anything like them. Perhaps they crawled out from under the ground, awakened by all those vibrations. What vibrations? What? You don't hear them? I can even hear them right now. And they drive me mad at night. I figured out where they're coming from. There's a big shiny core in the desert that I've never seen before. It's giving off powerful vibrations which I follow to find it. And you show me where it is. The hunter marks the core in your map. When I saw it, the legends about heralds, messengers of the gods, were the first thing that came to mind. When you appear when the world is about to change or its time has come. Go on, continue with your, your story about the Vangaron. We don't have the right weapons to hunt creatures like these, especially the big ones. We haven't figured out tactics for fighting them yet, so we always did our best to avoid the red vangarons, especially the warriors. But that night we decided to ambush one and fight it to see what it could do. My students have been asking me about this for a long time, and I, fault as I am, finally agreed and planned the hunt. Go on. Well, I overestimated their abilities. In our very first encounter with the beast, I lost two students and our only experienced hunter, and was wounded myself. The worst part is that I 
don't even understand how it happened. I think the creature turned invisible. I thought I don't really trust my eyes anymore. Okay. I decided to get the two other young ones who were with me out of there. The groups that were suppo supposed to set up the ambush apparently didn't make it to their spots. When we got back to the camp, I noticed there were even more vengarons around than usual. The others may have woken up, surrounded, unable to leave their campsites, which would mean they're now baking under the ultraviolet rays. Let's get to the point. The hunter observes the sky through all of his devices. Lucer the metastorm is winding down. It's going to get very hot on the surface zone. The wrinkles on our necks and chest will be irritated, even at night. I'm wounded. I need healing. I'm on supplies, but I'm afraid the younglings won't last long enough. If they're still alive, that is. Can you find the hunters and bring them back here to the camp? I'll see what I can do. The hunter enthusiastically marks a series of coordinates on your map. Oh. I marked the places where the hunters might have camped for the night on your communicator, and the spot where we trapped the beast, in case you want to finish what I started. As you can see, I won't be fight in fighting shape for a while. The hunter grimaces awkwardly, pointing at the god spilling out from under the side of his shirt. Yeah. Well, I did, you find the young ones first. I don't think they will last more than seven day night cycles in this seed with what supplies they have. Speaking of supplies, they probably run out of them. Here, take some. Uh, this should be enough to sustain them once you find them. Sure. You see a being in ragged orange robe. His face is completely covered by a metal mask, holding a massive weapon. He disassembles, grins, and tunes his weapon with precise motions. As he notices you, he freezes like a statue. And you can sense his dumbfounded gaze from behind the visitors, his visors of his mask. So, The being wipes the visors of his mask, then shakes his head from side to side. This can't be a dream, I just can't believe it. Herald, have you stuck me? How is this possible? After taking several deep breaths, the being calms down and more or less comes to his senses. The number kneels at your feet. My lord, my name is Angle of the Chinobari tribe. Please accept this gift as a token of my appreciation. The nomad hands you a bundle and stands up. Thank you. My lord, my life is in your hands and you can dispose of it in any manner you wish. You can summon me at any time and I'll follow the path you direct me down until my spark fades out. I will await you here until you show me your will and summon me into your service. If I can help you with answers, then I await your questions. Um, sure, I am summoning you. I'm glad you made this decision. Your will shall be done. As tradition dictates, I require your final answer. My lord, I, uncle, swear to serve you to my dying breath and to be an extension of your weapon and your will. Do you accept my service? Angar, I summon you. Mercenaries, sometimes you will meet travelers who want to join up with you. If your companion dies, there is no way to resurrect them during, during combat. You can throw healing items to your companion. Hmm, cool. Jet of Essence. Nice. Hmm, there's still an X. Like right over here. I guess that was just a Jet of Essence. Maybe it doesn't disappear from the map. There's one I see way to check, which is to go over here. Was that a chicken? Oh well. Bombs. Press left trigger to use an explosive. If you hold left trigger, you can aim more accurately. Bombs and grenades are highly effective against group enemies, but be careful, explosions can hurt you too. Oh shit. Shield generator. Best right bumper to gain 100 armor for a short time. 
is a good way to reduce huge income and damage. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like it disappears from the map, so Those guys don't really. All right. I guess we can see threat hunters. Hunters, and that's the core location. Let's go here first. Alright, I need to actually walk out. <laughs> oh, reflection source. So, yes, I do have literal organs. <laughs> that is interesting. Hmm. But this is the one that is close, right? figure hangs in the air, its body a tangle of old fabric and withered flesh. Ugh. The being wears a small porcelain mask, but there doesn't appear to be a face hidden behind him. His speech sounds like a coil of frail voices, occasionally out of rhythm. One voice, hoarse and malicious, stands out from the core of childlike voices. I have been waiting for you. Immortal. Who are you? My name is Calibi. Once, a very long time ago, my brothers the Ergals planned to capture Arkaban. Now I am a mere ghost of the past, a crooked, malformed reflection of a former reality. What do you want from me, Calibi? I am here to greet you, to touch the currents of future history catch a glimpse of the new reality. Maybe I can find a place there. Can you be of any use? The figure motions with its appendages, as if it is taking your measurements. You will find this black mirror useful, Herald. These devices let us buy a little time for our poor, tortured reality. The mirrors make the world around them a little more, st more stable. Stop speaking in riddles, what exactly do the mirrors do? It used to take centuries to revitalize a herald. The timeline was not broken if one of them died. It just changed shape slightly so that the herald could rise again. Now, when your shell dies, time itself will rewind to bring you back to life. You might say all of reality depends on you. Watches with bated breath as your core move along through these desolate lands. 
experiencing your rebirth is painful for immortal beings like me. We remember all the timelines we have been in, and living the same thing over and over again is not pleasant. Someone had the health of your mission in mind when they put up these mirrors through the wasteland. They work like peers. You cannot travel through mirrors yet, but if you die after you visit a mirror, you will be reborn there, just like you would at a dimensional peer. So it's a checkpoint. Who created these mirrors? Not me, but someone who also cares about the fate of the mirror dimensions. The gods of the large dimensions who build dark about have always thought of the mirror dimension words as unimportant, not real and not worth their attention. You've been waiting all this time just for that. Not everyone is tasting for such great things as you, Herald. There are queens, but there are also pawns. What should I know about the mirror dimensions? It is a reflection of reality, a space-time whirlpool before the shift Mirror worlds existed for only an instant, and only a few could be stabilized using technology. Now they are almost as sturdy as the reality that generates them. Getting into the mirror worlds used to require special techniques and technology. After the shift, reality became thinner, and even in this desert you will find faults that lead to parallel mirror dimensions. Getting into the mirror worlds used to require special Techniques and technologies. Oh, that, that was a repeat uh, thing. Mirrors. As you travel around the world, you may encounter strange devices that look like mirrors. When you approach them, the mirrors are automatically activated and bound to the herald's right. If he dies, he will be reborn next to the mirror. Okay, simple enough. here. This is going to be a long first episode, isn't it? I wonder how saving works. Anyway, uh, oh, that's the wrong direction. Addition to the usual items, foreign enemies will drop a grain of essence. The bigger and stronger the enemy is, the more essence will be dropped. Essence is used to enhance cores. Accumulation of essence in a core enhances its passive bonuses. So it's experience. This is the direction I'm supposed to go. Healing items. You can harvest seeds from, from, from Pandora roots. These seeds have potent healing properties. Oh, nice 
nice combo. Stop running! But I guess I found them. You see two beings. One takes a step in your direction, covering their partner. Dark, scarlet patches on the being's red robe shimmer in the sun. Lo, the being looks at you intently and waves his hand in an unusual gesture. I and sent me. You sense a weight lift from the nomad's shoulders when he hears that name. His entire being becomes soft like a fluffy cloud. So help found us after all. Hussa! I knew Ayan wouldn't let us down. Both beings freeze, simultaneously tilting their heads in disbelief, then start examining you closely, occasionally making strange gestures as they do. The one that is closer to you starts talking, eyes downcast. You look like a herald, you have a core. Are you one? Yes. Greeting, herald. Greetings, herald. I am Ron the Nomad. And that there is Somida. We were wounded out on a hunt, and we are not strong enough to get past those beasts on our own. The hunters have become the prey. Most ironic. Forgive me for asking a one-sided favor of you. What could you help us out? I'm afraid we won't last much longer. How are you doing on equipment? some supplies. Those won't quench our thirst or set our hunger, but at least they'll give us a better chance of surviving. Thank you, Harald. Samia, did you hear that? Now we have bullets, and we can shoot a few of those red bastards. them out. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've killed pretty much everyone along the way, but... A 
way out of this hell. Thank you, Harold. We can get to the camp on our own from here. We will never forget your kindness. But no, my well Safe travels. We put a lot of stock in good deeds. We will always be welcome among us. My home is your home. You already know where to find our camp. I am will always be glad to see you. I love my Santa will know of you soon enough. I'll be seeing you. Karma. Virtually all actions will have consequences in the form of karma. Karma affects how characters treat you. The prices and most importantly, the dimensions final fate. Makes sense. Yeah, I don't have any other rules anyway, but... Might as well, right? <laughs> okay, so... Um, communication... Okay, so... Hell, the keeper has detected a strange refraction on the surface of the world matrix. Try to find out what is at these coordinates. What caused these reflections? Right, that's the mirror thing. Tutorials and whatever that is. Oh well. Let's go save the other guys, I guess. Actually, um, oh, the young ones told me how you saved them. Thank you, Harold. I hope you will be able to save the second group too. That's the plan, yes. Um, is this one? Yes, looks like it. Okay. Well, I hope you all have fun. And I'll see you next time when we'll continue to save dimensions, I suppose. So we could have them into the void. Eh, I don't know, whatever. Bye bye!